Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Fallout 4. As Preston is continuing to press me to keep going and keep fighting, and we're just going to go ahead and raid everything that's over here. In fact, I need to look at my uh, encumbrance here. I am right now getting getting really close. Dog meat brought to us. Oh, so there we go. Now, one of the first questions was, uh, how did we get the name Dog Meat? But I guess this is what we get the answer here. I wasn't even necessarily trying to talk to her, but there we go. Let's so talk to her. So your now. dog? Ah, uh, he ain't my dog, no, sir. Dog Meat. He's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. Well, first off, that's one of the nice things about Mama Murphy, as we're seeing there already. You get a little bit of a uncanny valley. I guess there's some people that criticize that this game doesn't really look like The Witcher 3 in terms of people here. But, hey, we'll just dive into it here. You saw it? It's the Kems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now. Now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. Well, I'm glad we have a actually crazy person here. We do have a little dialogue option to see. If we can convince her what's going on, my charisma is horribly low, so this is probably not going to work. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more. Please. I ah, failed. I'm sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a raider. Ah. <sighs> I'm tired now, and if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Also, find it very interesting that the uh, Boston accent kind of survives. These are our lives you're playing with. Are you listening to me? Okay, good. So we no, have more no, people no, that are no, angry. No, 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 no. More people that are crazy, and a bobblehead. Perception up by one. Yes, I will happily take that. So we have more coffee mugs that we can take. Now the reason I'm taking all this stuff here is for base building, which I may have to go back and transfer some of my inventory before we do this. It would be a little bit gamey to do here, but let's see. Hey, Sturgis. That fusion core will do the job. Trust me. Through the back room and up to the roof. I'll hold them off from here. All right. Go. I want to go to the terminal here. So, Operations Terminal. Should be able to unlock. I'm not sure if it's going to do much more than uh, the other one here. So, unlocking. How this works, again, for those of you who might not know, is that, uh, let's say we use a word like bunch. Well, apparently that's how it works really well. You just pick a word here, but technically, we'll go over that again. I know I did it once in the last video, but just you want to match letters. So, we have the security gate, which we've already unlocked. And then... Oh god, okay. After hours tomfoolery. This is all the backstory ways that we can get things. For the last time, the red coat mannequin displays are not toy soldiers are not to be played with after hours. Two of the scuff paint and this morning one of the right the foot regiment pieces was missing his arm. This sort of horsing around will not be tolerated. Anyone caught engaging in such behavior will be written up, docked in hours, pay in charge for damages. Curator Harold Nash. Well I'm glad to see he's a friendly guy. What else do we got? Uh, Roach is in the basement. Uh, someone get maintenance down the basement to deal with that roach problem. Do it now on the down low. Ew, on the down low. While the museum is open, discretion is key. We cannot afford to close the museum again. Nor is it acceptable for a child to find a cockroach in her hair. She's learning about taxation without representation. This situation must be resolved immediately. So, uh, it's so just very dailiness of life here. Anchorage exhibits. 
After meeting with the director and board of trustees, I'm afraid we must deliver some rather dire news. Our planned Anchorage exhibit has been put on indefinite hold. It's simply not within the museum's budget at this time to make it revenues necessary to accommodate such an ambitious endeavor. My thanks to the curatorial and maintenance teams for all the work that's been done thus far. So that's kind of the stasis of life that we have in our final entry, Saturday, October 23rd, 2077. If you've been paying attention, you're going to see this date range pop up quite a bit. This is Megan Hayes. I'm a tour guide here at the Concord Museum of Freedom. I'm so scared when everyone saw the flash as they left. Even Mr. Nash, he just ran away and left me here. Jerk! And then the one of those army helicopter things crashed into the roof. I saw soldiers. They looked freaked out. I hid from them. I've only been in Massachusetts a month. I don't really know anyone, and I don't know where to go. I broke the lock in the curator's desk and took his gun. I'm looking to hide in other rooms for a few days until things calm down. If somebody reads this, Please come find me, but if you do try to hurt me, I swear I'll shoot you. So, a little sad. And it looks like we have a Robeco Funds. Oh, we get the Atomic Command holotape, which is exciting. Can we play the holotape on here? Uh, I don't, doesn't look like I can. But we have that for later on if we have some kind of terminal or Look. computer. Sturgis may be big, but he ain't much good in a fight. So we're gonna need to. Uh, These are our lives you're playing with. So everyone's just saying the same things again. To me? I'm not listening to you. I'm trying to go save your lives. Now we have a few areas over here. Doesn't look like we're gonna get much more ammunition. We just have a painting that I'm sure is a famous painting in real life. And this is not the way. All right. Doggy or dog meat, as he already has a name. As I was wondering last time how that name comes to be and if you can change it. All right. So now we have Doggy following me here. We have Power Armor. How convenient. I know some people complain about this game that a Power Armor is available everywhere all the time. Dogmeat found something. Dogmeat is in a corner. So I guess Dogmeat found me. Oh, no. So, uh, Gold Plater Lighter, Ball Peen Hammer, and Log SSG uh, Daily, and a Cap Stash, which is more important here. Always love the idea that there is a. Uh, Money floating around, but bottle caps are the currency that people use. Let's see if we can find this. We're at 263 for items here, and I can't transfer this stuff over. Junk is not really what we're looking for. What is... Apparel Aid Misc. Let's listen. Let's listen together, guys. Log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday... October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck. And God bless America, or what's left of it. Always very interesting what sounds and what things survive, but we do have, I guess, some power armor to hop into because there's some raiders that are coming here. Like I was saying before, some people complain and say power armor, power armor everywhere all the time. As strangely, I feel like there is something else I was supposed to uh, do. No power. Hmm. Well, I thought I had a fusion core somewhere. Hmm.
Okay, so if we transfer fusion core into the back, that's interesting. All right. For all the things that are automatically done in this game, I thought that would actually uh, work. So now we do have two fusion cores. We have the oldest, rustiest power armor, which is really interesting because it's like, wouldn't have somebody grabbed this by now? I mean, there's all these competing factions in other parts of Fallout that are trying to get these things here. You'd think a functional minigun and stuff like that would actually work. Let's see. I can't take too much junk. But at least I'm in power armor, so we do have dogs up here, and we got some people down there. Can I get any... Okay. So I can fire twice. But not very accurate because it's a minigun. Okay. Now we're just going to dive down here. You know what? Now this is one thing where... I do wonder sometimes if it's better for me just to go with the manual fire here, because I do have 800 bullets, and right now I can push and hold, which is kind of what you want to do with a minigun here, so wind it up, let's just nuke them all down, there's a gristle, alright, so something else just exploded, maybe. So dog meat snarling. Cars on fire is giving me some nice XCOM flashbacks here. So who else do we got? Another car is about to explode. Oh wow! It's like a little mini nuclear explosion. Okay, another car is about to explode. Let's reload. Oh no! Did I just blow up my dog? Ugh. Okay, so here's another raider. So I'm running a little hard on bullets here. But if we do like this... Oh, that's a little bit more accurate. Maybe that's not so bad. Oh. Okay, that's... That's not what I expected. Oh, Deathclaw! Hi, Deathclaw. Uh... Can I fire on the Deathclaw from here? Maybe not through... Oh! Is Deathclaw just gonna go through the neighborhood? No, Deathclaw's gonna go after my dog. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay. Your health is low. Use a stem pack, eat some food, or drink some water. Uh, well, I mean, that's, that's a really great still shot there. It's like, I'm about to die, maybe. Uh, and I'm dead! First death in Fallout. Apparently can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Deathclaw. What did we know? So free holotape in this issue. That's fun. Have to rethink the strategy here a little bit. So we do have all this stuff already. And... Okay, now it just pops it in that time. That's cute. I don't know what that was all about before, but... It's interesting for all the things that people are talking about with Fallout 4. I don't hear as much about the game being like a bug riddled mess or something, although there are bugs. But we got somebody up here! Alright. Let's do this. Let's do this. Is someone gonna Leroy Jenkins it right now? Let's see here. Because I did use a lot of bullets. Alright, now one nice thing is that I don't take fall damage for doing that. Okay, do we go through vats this time? See, that's terrible. It's like, I don't know what kind of accuracy I need here. We can do it this way and just melt him down. You're gonna stand near the car that we know explodes. Like, this is probably a lot of bullets I could be saving here. I thought I started with 800 instead of 700 something. But I'm gonna need to see if I can fight from like a better vantage point or something as we have. This is like totally one of those time cop or something, uh, old arcade game where just people come running out of the sides here. So we have another nuclear car explosion. I actually need to be very careful standing close to there. Although I wonder if I could use that against the death claw. I guess not now. 
I mean, these are fusion-powered vehicles. I guess I should be more scared of a death claw. I wonder if I can run in this suit. You know, I am using a... I do have 100% on this fusion core. So I have quite a bit of power here, so... Doggy's good. Do I have to cut one off? Oh! Let's back it up a little bit. We want to we wanna take this guy, and I don't have a sniper rifle or anything, but... Okay, he's just going to go take a tour of Concord. Doggy is going to come over here. That's pretty good. Let's see. I don't think I want to chase him. Oh! Oh good, he's going to... Oh, Deathclaw's just going to come right back. Did I see him kind of warp a little bit? Alright. Um, let's see. Oh, here he comes. You know what? Okay. That's weird. Can I hit him from here? I can hit him from here. Oh! Is this gonna be actual death claw cheese? Maybe. Because I have doggy right there. I said vets is good. But being able to unload like a whole clip into a death claws, he's just looking at me. I guess this is like the most anticlimactic fight ever, but... Did they never learn to use doors? Is this like, uh, War of the Worlds style stuff where they don't- where they don't have the wheel, but they can go through space? Alright, so I got a pretty big-ass minigun here. As he's, uh, still just wandering around. There we go, dead Deathclaw. Thanks, uh, for firing here. And what do we got? Deathclaw. And where's Doggy? hear doggy crying. Are you okay? Alright, well. Looks like doggy's okay. The death claw's defeated. I guess game over. Um, I guess we go back inside. I don't know. It doesn't seem like... I guess I should probably check in with the people I just rescued. Okay, there's still like a red door out here, so there's still some hostiles to kill. I guess I can check my quest log. Maybe there's another death claw out there somewhere. I knew it. Oh! Are you serious? That whole time that guy could have just sniped me from the back. Okay, so there's just the one straggler there. Okay. So we could report back to Preston, but considering my inventory is what it is right now, oh uh, yeah, I think the first thing I need to do before we even get there is let's go ahead and pop back to Sanctuary real quick. Alright, so the reason we came back to Sanctuary in part is to uh, go ahead and pop out of this. So now we have this here. It looks like there's a gun actually on the ground as well, so that's cool. The other thing that we're doing here is we don't... Okay, I'm walking super slow for some reason. I don't know if like my legs... Oh, I know why I'm walking slow, because I'm currently... We check our inventory here. I'm currently got way too much inventory. 304 of 290. So if we go to one of our workstations here... Let's go ahead and transfer. And let's go ahead and... Can we take everything? No, we didn't want to do that. I think we need to do... Store all junk. That works okay. Anything else that we can uh, do here? Because I, I feel like there's some things that we don't necessarily need to hold on to, but for now at least I can move around. So here's the town. Codsworth is still hanging out here. And if we try and go into workshop mode here, there's some stuff that we're going to need to do eventually. Like if I go right here. Yeah, I'll need to double check and look something up real quick because there's... 
ways that you can actually like scrap buildings and stuff for resources here. And I'm not sure if my skills or levels are just too low for it yet or what. But right now, we're not really getting the option. I guess maybe we'll just double check. Okay, hold V to open the workshop menu and... Doesn't look like we're having the option to really scrap things yet, so that's weird. Oh well. We'll just do this. We'll we'll figure that out probably by the time the next episode comes around. But now we have our fusion, our armor here with our fusion core here. Wrong buttons again. I'm just hitting the wrong buttons all the time. We've stored some of our inventory, and we're just gonna go back to ye old museum of freedom. All right. So look, it's a beautiful day in Concord. The death claw is just dead sitting in the streets. Are there any corpses I guess I can take? There's a lot of stuff over here. Uh, let's see here. Corvega storage key. So that may be good for later. I don't need, know if we need to strip everybody. That's really funny that just of all the places I ran to. Antique globe and there's more bottle caps as well. Looks like we got a little crawl space down here. That's where the death claw came from, so we may need to. I kind of want to regroup before we do that, though. So, any, do you have anything more bottle caps? Malta of cocktail. I didn't want to talk to dog meat, who I cannot rename. Uh, okay. Naked dead raider. It's all very exciting. Inspect See the if death claw. anything worth taking. Aww. So that's just me commanding the dog now. Very exciting. Let's go into the museum. Okay, so everyone's just talking now. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Well, I guess when there's power armor just laying around, it's pretty simple. What do you guys gotta say? Anything? Nothing? I guess we're only allowed to talk to one person right now. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while, anyway. We can at least move some... Listen. When we first okay, met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Oh, good. We got a bunch of bottle caps and some fusion cell. That's very exciting. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Because... There's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You are a woman out of time. Out of hope. But all is not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Okay, no one said anything about a son until this point. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. Oh, I guess we know where we're gonna go to eventually. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That jump, it's gonna kill you. But shush, Preston, we're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, well, she's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. 
She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. So I guess June's crazy. She's smart. I asked the same question. It's like she's tripping balls. Why are we following her? Excuse me. We need to keep moving. Well, I guess nobody wants to talk to you. What you need is in Diamond City, child. Alright. So I guess everyone's gonna be just walking out that door. In a nice orderly Real fashion. Here. No doubt about that. Anybody else? Guess not. Alright, we'll just go outside too. Now we'll probably go out. There we go. Don't forget the price we paid to get this far. Alright, so it looks like out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. So I guess there's right more you, conquered that we can explore together. But I guess now we're on to like the most exciting escort mission in the world. I guess that's the case. We got dead raiders, dead death Still claw. can't believe you took that thing out. First time I've seen one of these things up close. I'm very glad it's already dead. So the story behind death claws, at least as far as Fallout goes, is pretty much they're just. On the one hand, radiation monster, but you also got to understand that there's some experimenting and tinkering that's gone around from some 1950s level sci-fi uh, Powerpuff Girl style green goop. So that's a little bit of where that comes from. Is we're just we're just going to be walking really slowly with everybody here. Do we have like anything else you want to say? Sounds like you better get going to Diamond City. Okay, so they're all just gonna, I guess, walk themselves. Let's see, where is Diamond City? Uh, join Preston Garvey in Sanctuary. There's the Red Rockets. So they're just walking and it doesn't look like Diamond City's really marked. Go to Diamond City wherever it is or I can join Preston, we'll go ahead and get there. I feel like maybe if I fast travel, that'll go a little easier because there's some stuff I want to do in Sanctuary. So we're back here. Let's see what Codsworth has to say. Anything exciting? Sarah, welcome back, Mum. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. All right, well, I'm going to decline no, for not now. now. All right, then. Because that robot, it's not going to have its feelings hurt, right? Okay, so we have people coming on here. And I think one of the first things I'm going to need to do is kind of work on this area a little bit. There's going to be some inventory management I need to do that I'll try and do off camera because I think our next step and our next jump in the series, it's kind of the two ways you can go with a lot of Bethesda games. Do you elect to go follow the story? Do we go straight to Diamond City? Or are there other places that we kind of want to explore and hit first? So I think that's going to be a little bit of our decision making process here. So I'm going to call this one now. I know it makes it a little bit shorter. But this is Asher with Fallout 4. We'll continue next time. Not sure if we're going to be diving right into settlement building or what, but here we go. Our old streets as uh, Doggy Dog is happily running around. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know anything I missed. I have like a hole in the ground in Concord that I get to dive into at some point. But with the power armor right there, since I don't have a lot of fusion cores, I don't just want to run around with it everywhere and hope for the best. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.